it's found a Christmas wreath. Uh, it's made from sort of patchwork quilt bits um, that we had up in our loft and it had some lights built into it but the battery pack had broken off the uh, LED star lights here. I thought that was a bit of a shame. So uh, what I did is I've attached a micro bit to it. Uh, the micro bit is scrolling a Merry Christmas message. Uh, but what I've also done is to connect the um, pin one and the ground pin to the LEDs and some very simple code flashes the LED lights. And I thought that was quite fun. But then I thought it might be quite nice to do something a little bit more sophisticated than just flashing the lights. So uh, I've made the lights, the LED lights flash in Morse code so they're actually flashing <laughs> Merry Christmas in Morse code and I've also added a little feature to the micro bit where you can speed up and slow down the Morse code by pressing the A and B button so if I press button B that makes the delay longer between every dot and dash and you can see that the LEDs are now flashing more slowly so if you want to practice reading really <laughs> Morse code uh, you can so it doesn't actually flash the Morse in sync with the letters on the uh, on the display. That would probably be better actually if you can flash up each letter in turn so you knew which letter you were getting. I might do that next. Anyway, fun little project. Uh, I'm going to show you how to code it. Okay, that's quite enough of that shaky camera work. Um, let's get back to stability. Uh, here's a diagram that shows very roughly how I wired up the Christmas tree lights. Uh, it was a string of LED lights um, completely missing the battery pack. It had sheared off, fallen off at some point. Uh, so I just stripped the wires back and I connected it a little bit like this. So the positive side of the LED lights, um, I connected to pin one on the micro bit uh, with some crocodile clips and the negative side on the lights, I connected to the ground pin on the micro bit. How did I know which was which? I had no idea. I just tried it. There are LEDs. What's the worst that could happen? It could not work. Um, so I tried it. Luckily, it worked first time. Uh, so I clipped those wires on uh, with some crocodile clip leads. Uh, here's the code that makes it all work. So um, first of all, I set a speed variable. Uh, this controls the speed of the Morse code that flashes, or rather really it's badly named. It's not really the speed. It's actually the slowness. It's the delay. Bigger numbers will make the Morse code go more slowly. Smaller numbers will make it go faster. Um, I've got a couple of forever loops running here. One forever loop is just showing Merry Christmas on the LED display. The other um, forever loop is very long and it is showing Merry Christmas in Morse code. I didn't decide, I decided not to implement the whole Morse code alphabet, um, which I could have done. But what I did instead is I made a few functions uh, to make dots and dashes, but I tried to do it fairly accurately. So um, I got a program on the internet to transcribe Merry Christmas into Morse code for me because my Morse code is not that good. Uh, do you need to brush it up um, and created some functions so the basic functions the simple ones are dash and dot so what a dash does that's going to be a long um, a long unit of um, of flashing light uh, so i digitally write pin one to one so that sends a pulse out of pin one that makes the leds light up um, i then wait uh, and I wait a multiple of my delay. So I'm going to wait three kind of units of delay uh, because a dash needs to be three times longer than a dot. Uh, so that waits three times the speed. Um, it then writes it to zero and then it waits one unit because you need to have a little gap between dots and dashes. So after every dot and dash, you have to have a little pause. As a dot is very similar, sends a digital write pulse out on pin one, waits a shorter amount of time, a third of the amount of time, and then sends it back to zero to turn the LEDs off. Um, a couple of other functions here. A word gap should be, I think, seven units because I've already got one unit of pause after each character. I've just multiplied it by six. So a word gap um, waits for six and somewhere I've got another function. Where is it hiding? Oh, a letter gap. So between letters of the alphabet, you need to leave a gap, which is three units, same length as a dash. Um, again, I've already waited uh, one little unit at the end of each uh, character. So I've just made that two uh, rather than the three that you should have. And then to call each letter, I've got dash dash, that's M, letter gap, dot E. Uh, and then it goes on until we get to the end of Merry. And then we get the word gap, that longer gap. Uh, and it just keeps flashing um, forever. And you can see it running. You can see the pin pulsing on and off in the make code, uh, make code simulator over here. 
and you can see it flashing on the real micro bit and the uh, LEDs on my Christmas wreath as well. Quite a fun project. Um, I added some button pushes as well uh, to change the speed. So if you press button A, it will actually reduce the delay, which makes it go faster if you press button A. And then if you press button B, it makes it go slower. So you can actually look at the uh, decoration and practice your Morse code. Um, as I said before, it might be nice to make it synchronize. So this is actually showing the same letter that it's actually transmitting in Morse. That's something I might uh, might make a fun addition to that. Then you really could uh, practice your Morse because it would be flashing the letters on the LED display at the same time as it flashing the Morse code. Um, lots of other things you could do this uh, radio control strikes me as one thing maybe you could remotely control it turn it on and off uh, remotely or change the message remotely or have different messages that it could send um, or make it flash any message at all that you send it by radio have it flash that in Morse code that might be really nice good fun um, or make it light operated so perhaps only have it come on when it gets dark that might be a nice feature as well using the micro bits built in light sensor lots of things you could do with it I hope you find it inspiring and fun